What does any athlete want after winning a medal? A party. What does any athlete want even if he or she hasn't won a medal? A party. But according to Shirley Wang, who has been mixing with the A for athletes list, I guess it is, this has been a bit disappointing in London. Shirley, um, come on, London's party city. I've seen lots of photographs in the papers of these guys looking a little bit worse for wear at early hours in the morning. That's right, well, that's not to say there's not a party scene. But athletes say compared to Beijing, when the economic times were better, the party scene here in London is, is muted compared to that standard. Yeah, but I mean, they're still all going out there and having a good time, aren't they? And they're not going home to bed, you know, with a uh, cup of cocoa or something. It does seem that after their events are over, when they're not competing anymore, they do they do have a, a time to let their hair down. Yes. Okay, but there's a lot of there were a lot of stories here that, for example, there was a lot of a list there's a lot of Hollywood people in town. There was talks of you know boats on the Thames being taken over for all sorts of corporate parties. Mm -hmm. um, so the suggestion here being that maybe it's not the it's everybody else is having a good time, but maybe the athletes themselves aren't getting as much booze as free booze as they would like. <laughs> is that it? I, th I think the story is that um, when they when they're done, they have gone out. There's a club, for instance, called China White that's been hosting an event where a lot of athletes end up going um, but you know there are stories of you know, silver medalists who are expecting to get free booze the whole night and instead they're sort of calm to a, a couple of drinks but then they have to pay after that. <laughs> <laughs> well you know everybody is you know clamping down these days it is, it, it is you know um, economic trouble sometimes but I mean one does get the impression that there are other parties going on here that people are perhaps it's just being done on a smaller scale perhaps in Beijing and elsewhere it's been done sort of on a much grander scale that's right the idea is more boutique parties so for instance the Omega house um, when Omega is the official timekeeper their sponsor of the Olympics and in Beijing they had a huge pavilion here they say they scaled down by taking over just one little house in Soho where they've been hosting yeah, athletes. You, you went there. Yes, um, they've been having a lot of athletes. Michael Phelps was there last night, as was Chad LeClo, um, Rebecca and Addington, another So you, you were mixing with all the right people, obviously. Mixing might be a little strong, but they were there. <laughs> <laughs> they were there. Well, I mean, it, I gather also that, I mean, we've had these country houses where the individual countries have taken over, you know, you know, certain venues in London, uh, but I gather the Greeks were having criticized for perhaps being a little bit too lavish with their celebratory parties. That was right. That was, people thought, you know, where's this money coming from? Um, but it turns out their, their Greek house festivities apparently are privately funded, and they spent about 150 pounds on the house this year compared to 7 million, I think actually 150, dollars. 150,000. 150,000 pounds this year, yeah. but I think it was 7 million in Beijing. Well, that just goes to show that they were cutting back. So everybody's cutting back. That's so right. I guess the Olympic athletes can't expect too much free booze. <laughs> Simple as that, even if you get gold. Shirley, thank you very much. It's thank very you. kind of you.